No, every time I use the levelator, it completely reduces it to nothing. <laughs> you can hear that, though, too bad? Too bad, no, so that's sad. better. That's better. All right, we'll try it. We'll try it one more time. Okay. All right. Bum, bum, bum. Here we go in a five, four, three, two, one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Horseshoes and Hand Grenades, the show that brings to you the news like it were a small baby that got delivered but nobody wanted, and they put it in a basket, <laughs> and then they sailed it down the river, and then it got caught by a loving family of horseshoes and hand grenades, and they <laughs> took, took the child and they nursed it to health to one day it grew to free you people from a 24-hour news cycle and to take you into the promised land of odd news and crazy stuff. <laughs> and that baby is Horseshoes and Hand Grenades, and I am your host, Steven. I feel like you uh, you went with something very sad and then turned it into a Jew. <laughs> I, <did. laughs> Which, I feel like that's what just happened. You, I, you made our show a Jew. In a good way. The key the, the, <laughs> because being a Jew <laughs> is typically bad. No, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. That's like no. The show. It's like oh, you're you're bad. You have that black friend, but no, he's not like that. <laughs> he's not like one of those. No, no, but like you know the mega Jew. I mean the Moses Jew, the guy who's like I go to the mountain and I bring you the law. That Jew. Where's I almost. You? Horseshoes and hand grenades, episode 294, Mega Jew. <laughs> Mega Jew, I do not. No, I almost said King of the Jews, but that's an entirely different thing, so I stopped. That's this weekend. That's this weekend. Mm -hmm. that's, the last, that's, that's both last weekend this week. Either way, we are stumbling across some dangerous territory, Smash. We what? are. We, we are. the show as racist. We are chasing the Jews through the Red Sea at this point. We're the a-holes in this scenario. <laughs> we are the jerks in this story. And we're about to lose all of our chariots and all of our people to the raging waters. But ladies and gentlemen, this show isn't all about, you know, the story of Exodus. What this show is, is the show that brings you odd and crazy news. And we're going to try to do that in the best way that we know how. And that's by being... By talking. Exactly. I was going to say by being loud and obnoxious, but that's also a thing. Well, when we talk, it's typically loud and obnoxious. You know, in order to podcast, it kind of there's kind of a requirement that you be somewhat loud and obnoxious. We're both loud. I think I have more of the obnoxious overtones than Clark Kent over here. I still haven't seen Captain America. We can't do a spoiler-free review until you see it. No, I'm going tomorrow, though. I'm just like, I'm done. Like, I don't care if I go by myself. I'm going tomorrow. Like, my friends suck and don't want to see the most amazing movie ever with me. Well, fine. Just go. Just go and be like, I'm going to go see it. I told my parents, I'm like, uh, when you guys get home from work tomorrow, I will have dinner ready. And then we're going to go see a movie. Dude, they will love it. I was talking to a buddy of mine at work who just saw it. And I told him, I told him, just like I've told everybody, the best Marvel movie to date. To which they all reply... Better than the Avengers? As if there's no <laughs> if there's no possible way that a movie could be better than the Avengers. And I'm just and I went out on a limb and I'm like, yeah, I think so. In my opinion, I think that Captain America defeats the Avengers. I respect the Avengers for what it did. You know, in no world did I think I would ever live in where the superheroes would all be on screen together. That's an achievement. You know? It that broke ground. That was amazing sauce. It was funny. Yeah, it it broke ground. But this this one it, it exceeds what the Avengers was able to do and does it with one character. And that's, the, that's well, three. But that's the astonishing thing, you know? And the cool part about this movie is most superhero movies you watch and you're like, oh, this superhero is going to do these things and he's never going to get hurt. You fear for Captain America and the Black Widow and Nick Fury because they are human. I mean, Captain really? America is a super soldier. But you kind of get this moment where you're like fearing for their safety, which you don't normally get. You know, you don't, you kind of just like, eh, they'll make it. Be fine. <laughs> you know, this is more of a spy thriller with these, you know, super people put in it, but not as super as they could be. Super, super. It's like James. Oh, I want a new James Bond movie. I'll tell you this. Uh, this is what, I, this is what I'll say about it. It is better. It is a better Superman movie than Man of Steel. And that so might... I was talking to somebody about that the other day, and I can't. It was such a good conversation. I wish I would have recorded it. 
but a lot of my, um, I think it was just like a random stranger I walked past. I mean, it was at the con. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. And you're talking I don't to remember him about where I was going with that, Steven. You were talking to him about Man of Steel? You said you were talking to them about that. Yeah. I don't, yes, yes. About, about at the end, how he killed that, <laughs> that post on our Tumblr about, you know. <laughs> Where they totally skew and mix universes where you've got Nick Fury talking to Superman about da 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 and I'm like, yeah, you just wiped off the last, like, your last buddy. Like, he pretty much killed everybody that lived. Yeah, and you know, not to, uh, not, not to downplay, like, you know, the, that Man of Steel was good, but, eh, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that thought. I saw a new name in the like chat, and I got excited. Um, Don't typically my, um, I guess when you start, like, doing the, the juice thing, it detoxes you. And, like, yesterday, I could not shut up. Like, <laughs> just, da -da 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 -da. like, I was on a walk, and my mom, like, I wanted to go on a walk with mom. And just, and I finally looked at her, and, like, her eyes are all huge. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I've been drinking juice. And she's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been drinking the juice, too, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Just like, and then like, I think I slept, I slept 12 hours just straight. Like, and, and like my sleeping schedule is very regulated now. Like I go to bed at a certain time, I get up at a certain time. I woke up like way past what I normally do. And I'm like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> but I, I'm, but you know what I'm really excited about for you, Smash, is that you are juicing and you feel good tonight. Mm -hmm. I have very selfish motivations for you feeling good tonight. But I was I'm, scared because I woke up and I felt like crap. Like my head was stuffy, and where I fell off the mountain, that knee. I'm just like, I'm not going to be able to walk today. Like this is awful. Like I haven't yeah. had a problem for my knee in forever, and it was just it was horrible. And I was all tired and grumpy, and now I'm just like ah! grumpy. That's the part I was worried about. Yeah, <laughs> I was worried about grumpy smash. I was just I was sitting there having a little panic attack. Oh my God. No! God! <laughs> <laughs> no! God! Please no! No! <laughs> You're gonna no. do that in every show now. No! That's that's exactly how I felt when I heard you were gonna do this juice feast yesterday. <laughs> that's, that encapsulates my feelings exactly. You're like, why can't she do it after? Well, like, um, a lot of people will do like a juice fast, which is stupid. But I mean, I've been getting like about 1,200. Like yesterday, I didn't quite get 1,200 calories because it's just it's a lot. Um, yeah. But today well i haven't had many today but i mean you're not like you're not starving so you're not rawr yeah you're getting your calories and you're getting your food but your stomach is empty ish yeah like you're 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 not having to digest your food it's already like it's like having a mommy bird come and puke in your mouth <laughs> that's is, that's what it's like <laughs> this is actually this is your pitch for uh for the juice feast juice feasting <laughs> it's like having a mother bird puke in your mouth <laughs> it's delicious i saw i saw a blue jay feeding its baby or its mate or something and yeah <laughs> so how do we uh where do i sign up for the mother bird puke <laughs> Uh, diet. Mother bird, <laughs> Mother bird oh, puke diet. I'm going to sell it. It's going to be a thing. <laughs> Mother bird puke diet. That's the title of the day's show. What was it earlier? Should... I already... Uh, you erased it. Whatever it was, it evidently wasn't funny enough. No, but we said it. It was something about... Oh, Mega Jew. <laughs> Mega Jew. We can't call it Mega Jew. We'll get the wrong kind of attention. Yeah, that's true. Enough, like freaking KKK. <laughs> so after after that's saying so Mega Jew, I keep reading this factoid as rabbi instead of rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that inappropriate? Have I crossed the line? There's only like one letter difference. I know, I know. Rabbi means teacher in Jewish. Yeah, because then they call Jesus rabbi. I don't think Jewish is a language, but it's yeah, Jewish. Yeah, <laughs> Jewish. What about Hebrew. I think uh, they. Yeah. They spoke Hebrew and um, Greek and Assyrian. Um, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Aramaic, Aramaic was a thing, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I'm not a language person. Tony says Hebrew. That's what they spoke. 
Bro. That's like if you're an Ebonics Hebrew. Hebrew. Hey, bro. That's big Hebrew. Speaking of Hebrew, <laughs> what's the what's the rabbit rabbi say? I feel like there's a joke in that. The rabbi rabbi. The, I don't the, know. We got to start by announcing the factoid of the week before we do anything. Factoid oh. of the week. I'm going to go out on a limb and say something that Ashley wasn't prepared for, and that is Factoid of the Week is open for sponsorship if you'd like to sponsor it with your thing. Because I would love to say Factoid of the Week brought to you by, you know. <laughs> if you would like to sponsor it with your thing, please no genitalia yeah. picture. I am not going to limit you, ladies and gentlemen, whatever you want to sponsor it with. I mean, you could pass us a buck or two, and then we could that would make us feel better about saying whatever you want us to say on the internet. But today it's just brought to you by the letter Q. For quirky, because <laughs> that particular section of a website is where all of our news comes from. Let's not even try to hide it. Oh yeah, actually well, searches the internet far and wide to to one website. Well, they search it for me. Why? I mean, if I if they're lame, then I can go to Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> right, Yahoo's odd news is actually not bad. I don't yeah. hate it. Some of it's stupid, but you know, you, you, there's more work involved if I do that. Yeah. By the way, uh, it is brought to you. Let's say it's brought to you by EGATS because I made EGATS the thing he requested on our live page the other day, and that is a <laughs> that is a video size selector. So now, if you tune in live, you can actually watch it in small, medium, or large video. Hooray! Oh, I did a bad thing. I was so proud of that. I did it. I last haven't night. played with it yet. If you click it, it's going to refresh everything. I just did. <laughs> you ah! Well, while your stuff is coming back, I'm going to say. This factoid of the week is a female rabbit is called a doe, a male rabbit is called a buck, and a young rabbit is called a kit or kitten. Rabbits have no identity. They don't. They stole all their names from everything else. Yep, rabbits have a, they have no like individual thing. We should make up a thing for the, the rabbit. You know, we should, we should make up an, a name for like a group of rabbits. I don't, is that a, is that a thing? What, what is a group of rabbits I think called? we should just call a group of rabbits rabbi. So anytime you see a cluster of rabbits running around, say, look at those rabbi. Why is, why isn't the internet have a, uh, why isn't it a thing? Why doesn't the internet fix this for me? It's, um, the internet can, and we can, the internet will. Uh, all we, we have the internet in our, in our midst. They're right here. Oh, it's called a Warren. A Warren. A Warren of rabbits. Like oh. that dude that with the with the with the Mormons. It's the Warren dude that's like, I'm gonna tell you what to do from jail. Y'all should have <laughs> many wives and marry them when they're four. It's this a it's hear. a Mormon or it's, a they're Warren. The, they're the like super duper um, like the super duper. They're they're the jihad of the Mormon world. <laughs> The jihad of the Mormon world. Yeah, you know, like you have peace-loving Muslims, and then you have scary extremists, jihad Muslims, and then you have Christians, and then let's bomb a an abortion clinic because killing is wrong, <laughs> Christian. And then you've right. got Mormons that are like, I like to have many children and wear my hair all. Why do they? I'm sorry, I drank juice. Why do they all have the poof and the the bang poof? I don't know, but... You know what I mean? Yeah. The this, bang poof! You you went on your rant before I could play your theme. Oh no, God! <laughs> there we no, go. No, God, please, no! no. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, I just drank, so it's like liquid sugar just went into my system. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... <laughs> like, there were, there were a couple apples and a lot of carrots in there. What, ah. if this, what if this Warren fellow and Fred Phelps of the Westboro Baptist Church were to have teamed up? Like a Marvel team-up. They'd be and like the world's... Like, that would have been awful. You it's know, like, like Batman and Robin are like world's finest? You know, you when, or Batman and Robin. Batman and Superman together, they call them the world's finest. This would be like the world's cruelest world's poopiest world's poopiest people <laughs> that sounds about right there's a list somewhere out there world's poopiest people i'm gonna look that up that should be a thing is that a thing Would we can make one we can make i don't know why you think that we have to find this everywhere no nah, i think i'm trying to say poorest but i'm trying to say how to pee with morning wood Shh. why is that even in the chat <laughs> it's a complete you know what some people need a guide you know 
As far as I know, the portal. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is the best thing. That is the best use of portal technology I have ever seen for the, in my entire freaking life. <laughs> for the audio listeners, uh, Eric in the chat sent us a, a list of ways to pee with uh, morning wood. Which, if you don't know what that is, go to sleep, kid. Morning it's past your Academy. bedtime. <laughs> it's past your bedtime. But uh, so, oh yeah, poopiest poopiest is not a thing. They they don't have that. But uh, but yeah, it's, it shows a guy in various positions trying it's to pee. Hilarious. If it's- you flex, listen, if you ever get into an incident where you're having an issue and you need to stand up, you need to flex your thigh muscles. It works. Flex your thigh. That makes your thing so, not thingy. When you use a muscle, it causes blood flow to go to that muscle, right? So ah. if you flex a large muscle group, the blood flows away from the problem area and goes to where you need it. Which is in your leg muscles right then, because you're flexing like, your leg muscles. If you, if somebody, yes, that is Steven. What did I do? <laughs> oh, is he watching my vine with the fried chicken? You, you, is that what you guys ate? You got fast food takeaway? No. No, we got, it from, we got it from Lowe's Foods, and it was supposed to be a rotisserie chicken, but Stephanie grabbed the wrong box. Aw, poor little evils. No, that was not personal experience. It's just, I learned it later. That it was oh yeah, you know it's important and just don't get just don't relax. If you ever relax, then you know the chances are you might end up with something you don't need at that particular time. So just are we still talking about chicken? Uh, Yeah, we are actually. We're talking about chicken. (laughs) Yeah, why did you call it? Why did you call it takeaway chicken? Take out. Take out chicken. Well, wouldn't it all be takeaway? Because, like, you know, you can, it's the takeaway, like, oh, I want Outback, Steven. Um, but you go to, to Outback to get takeaway. And, I mean, you go through the drive through you're not getting takeout, you're getting takeaway. Because it's still takeaway. So why wouldn't they call it the same thing? Because it's the same thing. That's like, you can't, you, no. It's takeout. This is Just- America. This is America. You know what? World news. <laughs> World News Time! Maybe it's an Australian thing. Oh, in Australia, we say take away, not take out. To the out back. Because, oh, that's what, it's not take out. Because if you take it out back, then you're going to drive halfway across the desert. But take away, you just take it back to your nice little lush apartment in Sydney. It... No. Oh, killer. wait, no, no. Okay, you can't get takeout from Outback because that would be too many outs. So maybe it's takeaway from Outback. Oh, takeaway from Outback. Because takeout from Outback would be, you know, you could. I mean, it'd be fine. What was the show title again? Uh, Mother Bird Puke Diet, I think. I don't like that at all because the word puke bothers me. Maybe uh, Mother Bird Regurgitation. <laughs> Can you talk? I still regurgitation. Regurgit. I don't know. Spell check. Let it. Let it handle it for you diet divine i think i spelled it right no nope. i'm not a channel operator f you i'm not in the right thing <laughs> you why do you go to two i don't know how you end up with two I, chats it's all the time thing and i haven't fixed it yet you drive me crazy thief swallows plunder this should be exciting is he a pirate <laughs> he Yarr, can i read it like me. a pirate because that would yes be fun. yes he's <laughs> and and he swallowed his booty Yar police in Poland say an alleged thief tried to dispose of incriminating evidence arr, by eating the proceeds of his crimes. <laughs> Can't do that too much. I won't have a I won't have a throat left. Uh, a police surgeon was called after suspected burglar Darius Petriowski complained of stomach pains after being taken into custody. The medic was baffled as to the cause of the discomfort after a preliminary examination so arranged for the man to have an X-ray. It was then he found to his amazement that Piotrowski's stomach was stuffed with stolen goods. He had swallowed cigarette lighters, six watches, a fork, a spoon, nail clippers, and a pen. The nail clippers, pen, and fork seem like a bad decision. I all all of it's like bloody because they showed a picture of like it all sprawled out on a towel, and I'm like, hey, this guy's like in the porn industry to get that stuff down. I'm yeah, you saying. don't you don't choke down that without uh, having some experience. With choking yeah. down things. Yeah, uh, I was impressed. The case has become a textbook example of unusual medical cases for the Polish Anesthetics Society, 
which placed details of the human trace trace scan on his Facebook page. You can tell this is not an American story because there's lots of large words and I, they all seem to make sense together. <laughs> Vocabulary. <laughs> Uh, the pirate, the pirate said, <laughs> I can't do the pirate. The patient ate them. Said, I almost said the pirate ate them. I could have just rolled with that. Uh, said the caption alongside the objects. The patient was referred by the court to undergo psychi- psychiatric treatment after it was proven the swallow- that the swallowed watches were stolen. Police confirmed that Piotrowski, 39, had been arrested in Warsaw and taken to the cells as he fled a house burglary. What is a house of, like a house of burglary, maybe? No, like a Welcome house to- like- PD's, the house. PD's house of burglary. PG, uh, well, <laughs> PG's pool. I used to say that in uh, high school because I heard a guy do it. And I thought it was really cool. Like when people would call the house yeah. before caller ID and uh, before everybody had their own cell phone. I'm like, PD's pool hall, I ain't well speaking because I had my own line. Oh, you used so to cool. say that and that was really, I always thought that was really clever. I'm like, she's so clever. Yeah, and then you met me. Then I got, <laughs> to, then I got to know you and you were like weird. Yeah. And I was like, Ashley would be fun to do a podcast with. Here we are. And Petey's poor. What's... Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. I have juice. (laughs) A police spokesman said officers lost sight of him briefly after chasing him, but then found him hiding in the bushes of a garden of a nearby house. It was while he was crouched down in the shrubbery that he probably took the opportunity to try to mask his crime by eating the objects he had stolen. It took surgeons several hours to remove the plundered goods. (laughs) <laughs> the booty. And I can't do the pirate booty. Say booty. Arr, surrender the booty. Booty. Matey, okay. we go sail in the seven seas. Faster. Hey, remember that one time we tried to be pirates? I am a pirate. Jim Dugan is still living. He's still down there Spice somewhere. Film. Yep, Jim Dugan is still, still. Alive. Lost me ship the squall and a squall. One of the <laughs> toughest squalls you'd ever seen. We were backed up to the coast by a dragon with breathing fire. <laughs> Brimstone and ash was blowing from his nostrils as he breathed down upon us. We got him started. <laughs> <laughs> there was no hope till I took me sword and I threw it as hard and fast yeah, as I could. Folks, good night. <laughs> it hit into the dragon's eyeball and he wailed with a dragon wail. How do dragons wail? Oh. <laughs> Such a zombie that was creepy. Do your zombie thing. You, what? I hate it. I don't have a like. You can't audio perform a zombie thing. That thing you do because it's like the walk is bad, but then when you add your vocal zombie nations, is just bleh, I, don't I don't like. I don't know it. how to do it when I'm not shambling across the room. <laughs> get up and shamble. I can't. What? No, I'm not gonna get up and shamble. Why? Because that would require me to move my legs. <laughs> <laughs> no. And it's small town news time. Small town news. Glad to welcome to the chat, DH. Let's just go ahead and welcome to the chat, DH, EGATS, EWG guy, Gunsmoke, Pipes, and Tony. And me twice. And Ashley twice because she and doesn't know how to. And anybody from the guild, if they's listening. And anybody from the guild, if you listen, guildies, we love you. I want you to know that. Bottom of my heart. Truth. That he forsake you and went to the Alliance. I forsook. I forsook. I forsook you. There are 11 people watching according to the Twitches. So. This was submitted by Chip. Thank you, Chip. I love Chip. Oh, this is the best story ever. I don't know if this belongs in WTF or, wait, the WTF story is, okay, yep, this belongs right where it is. (laughs) Yeah. And if, if, is worse. if you want to know that if if the small town news story is, can't beat the WTF story, then you're gonna you're gonna want to stick around for that one. You're gonna have a good time. You're gonna have a really good time. So I, I think a lot of you know my stance on the TSA, and fly. I like to fly. Like my dad's a pilot, we used to fly all the time. Like little one seventy twos is awesome. There's lots of fun. And Stephanie and I used to fly to Florida quite often, and. You know, I flew to the Dominican Republic and it, Dominican Republican. <laughs> I flew to the Dominican Republic and back with the machete, like, like as big as my leg. It was massive. <gasps> do you remember, Steven? What? Do you? Sorry, I got really excited. <laughs> do you? Okay. Do you remember those 
those big boots, the like, the like five inch lace up all the way to my knee boots that I took to Florida one time, and I swore the TSA ganked. Like I swore because they got home and they weren't in my bags. Like they were just gone, <laughs> gone. Yeah. Like uh, yeah, vaguely. Okay. Well, I've I've waked about them forever, for years. It's like 2007. I came upstairs after getting home from North Carolina this last time, and they were just sitting there in the chair. <laughs> they were just my there. My mother. My mother stole my boots because she didn't like me wearing them. Ha! I have yet to talk to her about the boot fairy. <laughs> but apparently she thinks it's okay to give them back. I'm like, I'm wearing them everywhere. You should. You should wear them. You should wear them everywhere. They they are kind of kiss army boots, you know. Awesome. But They're that's amazing. That's cool. And you know, I mean, it's better than her giving you back other things she may or may not have taken or found in your room <laughs> at one time or another. Pretty sure that stuff got thrown away. <laughs> yeah, I doubt that that would be returned. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can buy more things. They That's... come in an script brown box, and it does not say where they are from on my bill. That's probably a good thing. Um, I I feel like there was there's an opportunity to just ignore the situation and just go. Oh, that. Uh, that I had to. What do I mean? What do you say, dear mother? What did you do with my self fledgering devices? No, you just ask your. You can't. You can't ask your mom, and your mom doesn't want to approach you. So both of you should just have ignored. Like she should have ignored yes. that she found it. Like pulled open the yeah. drawer and been like, never mind. Yeah, I'm no, going no, no. to stop cleaning now. All of the other drawers are cleaned out. All of them are like my room's been totally clean. All my drawers have been gone through, and then that one's still messy and just missing a couple. I I didn't go through your drawers. <laughs> and then and then there's. So there's your th- fairy came while was gone. She just got called away and, and then, forgot to put that particular item back. Then there's no, your response. Oh God! <laughs> I'm gonna punch no, you. Oh God! Please no, no. That's fine. <laughs> you soundboard. No, that's just how you would feel, you know, upon finding that everything was gone, and especially that your mom may have cleaned your room. <laughs> it was just like, it was, it was, but yeah. It, that was a tangent. I was that Yeah, was that was a real tangent. So what's this story about? Oh, this story is also about those particular types of items just not intended the way they're used in the way they're intended. The TSA sucks. Like, I hate the TSA. The TSA is just, I hope it dies in a fire. Why are, like, we, talking, hate, why are we talking because, about the TSA in regards to this story, though? It's just, again, I'm getting there. I'm hyper. It just comes out quickly. Get, get to the story. We're, we're running around. <laughs> We're running around like crazy. What we need anyway, to flying sucks. For reasons no one can explain. You so you take, you take that airplane, you shove it. I, I, I see what you do. <laughs> I see. I, see I feel like that should be the the title in the notes. <laughs> take, this, take this plane and shove it. Yeah. Can that be the show and title? That's, that's just it. what some lady did. Uh, for reasons no one can explain, U.S. Airways decided to respond to the complaint of a woman who had a bad flight with a photo of a woman ramming a Boeing 7077 up her vajayjay. Don't worry, all. ladies and gentlemen. It's like a 1 in 200 scale. It's, it's a model. It's, <laughs> I'm, I just tried to skip the picture because I'm like, I don't want to see. Because from what I can tell, it was a voluptuous woman with some... And I'm like, oh no, I don't like, I don't. It's just, you know, the the conspiracy theorists when the plane went into the Pentagon, they're like, where's the wings? I'm like, where would the wings go? They should be sheared off at this point. <laughs> just say. There's some things. Some things are just too wide, you know. Yeah. So the asshats at U.S. Airways decided to. The customer's not always right, and in fact, crap on the customer because they have to, so... (laughs) The now-deleted tweet was up for a good 22 minutes before it was taken down, and as we all know, if it's up for more than a microsecond, it is immortalized on the internet for all the evers ever. This is important to know, ladies and gentlemen. Don't tweet your weenie, or someone will have it. The reach... When, uh, when reached for a comment, U.S. Airways representatives said that they were <clears throat> aware of the situation and had no explanation for it at the time. Oh, I don't know what happened! <laughs> it's not so we shove airline up someone's fujay! <laughs> they're suddenly Asian. They just put that airplane right up the hoo-ha there. 
Oh, like, oh, you didn't have a good time? You didn't like getting frisked by the TSA and you just had a bad, that's, that's great. Instead of comping you a flight, we're just going to give you this porn. Uh, the replies to the tweet range from the standard, I think you tweeted the wrong pick kindness, to the, you gotta clean this up now, outrage. And to Steven's favorite, the inevitable, is this where the MH370 went? <laughs> I am not go. I laughed and smiled because it's my job to do that for when you tell a joke. But I'm bothered that you think that I was like, "This is, you know, this must be where the MH370 went." No, I'm not that. I'm not that cruel. I have made a joke about the black box. We did that, by the way, guys. But you know, did I say that actually? Did I? Did I say that the other day? No, I didn't say that. (laughs) You had to. You had to stop and think about it. That's because I've been so insensitive. Which, you know, and finally today, ladies and gentlemen, CNN decided to post a thing about Al-Qaeda gathering and Ukraine Ukraine troops going to retake an airport after a skirmish. So so now, finally, finally after a month and like two weeks or something, it's been forever, the search for Flight 370 has been relegated to a subheadline. And it's not that I don't want them to find it. It's not that I don't care about an occasional update. Maybe we'll find it and I'll go, oh, cool. But for the most part, they're not getting any progress. We're not getting anywhere. And there's a lot of other problems in America that probably need to be dealt with. Like, I don't know, Monsanto. But don't talk to Ashley about that. Oh, yeah, don't talk to you, Monsanto. You know, like Comcast and Time Warner. Our Supreme Court justices used to work for them, so. Uh. You know, people got to make money. I don't know why you're hating on Congress. They got to make a dollar. Do, do, do you know the little uh, the little corn weevils or whatever the bug was that they, they 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 GMO'd the corn for? Like they they put Roundup inside the corn's genetic structure, so when that particular bug would eat the corn, it would erode its stomach and it would die. But it started killing like tons of um, sheep. And other animals that were fed, like, strictly GMO corn, like, their stomach linings eroded and they went blah and died. And so, it's, you know, if you eat crap ton of corn, you get a tummy ache. You probably should cut yourself off. Uh, but anyway, the, the bugs have, <laughs> have evolved past the point of it bothering them. They've adapted to it. So now we have, like, super stomach lining bugs. That's awesome. Every time we try to kill something, it, I, I'm going to... to to defer to Jeff Goldblum, who once said, life will find a way. Oh, nice. That is still the best movie, like, ever. It will, and it will. I mean, it holds true. You try to kill the bugs, the bugs will come back. Here's a Bow Weevil song. Yeah, this is good. Well, the Bow Weevil lamb, a little black bug, come from Mexico, they say. Oh, yeah. Come <laughs> all the way to Texas, just looking for a place to stay, just looking for a home. <laughs> just looking for a home. <laughs> Now the first time I see the bow weaver, he was sitting on the square. The next time I see the bow weaver, he had all his family there just looking for a I feel like this is a racist home. song. What? I feel like that is so like freaking. Now the farmer taking the bow weaver and he put him in the hot sand. The weaver said, this is mighty hot. But I'll stand it like a man. I can't, you cannot believe what I'm watching here. Was there a video with that? Yeah, there's a video with it. I, got it, it. I feel right like that was like the most <laughs> I didn't... immortalized the time in America's history where we saw <laughs> So there's this, it's just this white guy, this black guy singing about the Bowie will come up from Mexico looking for a home. Okay, is that like, just... is that like <laughs> in you window about Mexico? That's all I can think. I'm trying not to think it. I'm trying not to, but I can't help it. In the bow weevil coming looking for home. Bow weevil, bow weevil, bow weevil. Gosh. I wonder the next time he looked, his whole family was there. Oh my god, Home Depot? Home Depot. You and what Stephanie is- do that every time. Stephanie's like, can we go to Office Depot and get some lumber? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we can't. I have a friend that works at Office Depot, and I was telling him about that dude that was like, are you moving down? Like, are, are you coming down? Is your family here? Where are you? How old are you? you do you have a boyfriend? You know, blah, 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 that guy that followed me around in the Gosh. in the plant section. And he was like, why was there a plant section in Office Depot? We don't have one. And I'm like, <laughs> 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 You're like, oops, I mean uh, Home Depot. 
Ja, oh, de one. Nu doof is die boom. Nieuws bij Left on Toe! <laughs> Bo Weevil song, just cracking me up. I'm dying right now. Don't flush your sex toys. You heard I don't it here think first. I've ever thought of doing that. I mean, have you gone, gee, my mom's coming over for a visit? Like, your parents came in this weekend. Yeah. I didn't so, flush mine. Yeah. I don't have any. <laughs> but there's still I don't here. know. One time, Stephanie, I called her and asked her if I could, when we were at the old apartment, and I was like, um, hey, can I borrow some earbuds? She's like, they're in this drawer. Just don't look in the drawer above it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, ah, okay. No, there's, t- there's just, there's who knows what's in that drawer. I don't even know what's in that drawer. I, no one knows what's in that drawer. I'm assuming both you. <laughs> it's like the Ark of the Covenant. She's four in the morning. It's the <laughs> look at Pipes, nice safe. <laughs> oh, Pipes has been chilling in the chat for like three days. I'm pretty sure he's never left. Thanks for hanging oh. with us, Pipes. I'm very I do excited that sometimes because I forget to close it down. Yep. Uh, so don't flush your sex toys. Sex toys, false teeth, and a dead sheep were among the list of unusual things found stuck in Devon sewers. A, a Southwest Water Company revealed their surprise findings, which also included bicycles, knives, and a dismantled greenhouse. Of course, the ones they took note of were the sex toys, false teeth, and dead sheep, which, if you combine them together, make for a really disturbing picture. <laughs> That's like taxidermy horror. <laughs> yeah. a, sp- a spokesman said during once once incident, sewer. Hold on, this was written by an American again. We, we got to figure it out. A spokeswoman said during one incident, sewage workers found a sex toy which was so big it blocked the underground pipes. Somebody tried to flush oh, Thor. <laughs> Somebody flushed Thor. Your dad, your dad sent me a picture one day. What did it? I don't want to know. What did he send you a Wait picture? a minute. Wait a minute. Did he send it to me or did I send it to him? <laughs> and the truth comes out. I like, you know how you remember things? I don't. Okay. So, one of these things, one of these two things happened. Either your dad sent me a picture of like the biggest black dildo I have ever seen in my entire life, <laughs> or I sent your dad a picture. Because, you know, we used to, well, not me and you, but me and a friend, used to go to that, that, that Tallahassee. Oh, yeah, the X-Mart. Like, yes, we would go there. E gads, was I with you when I did that? Either way, there was a giant, like, you know, because you got the black dildos because everybody, you see, is just the big and then no! I said, Oh, God! <laughs> Taking that button from you! I'll stop using it. It's worn out. It's welcome. That's hilarious, but yeah. Okay, see, see, that was him. So wait, did did I did I tell him? <laughs> <laughs> you probably, you probably did. Did I send that to you, or did you send that to me? Because either way, it would be feasible. <laughs> 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 Landon sent me a big picture of uh, you can you can buy a giant black dildo on Amazon yeah. if you want one. 18 inch. Landon, every time I ask him what he wants for like his birthday or something, he's like an 18 inch black dildo. One day I'm going to send him one. Yeah. I'm going to order it. I'm going to have it out on his doorstep. It would <laughs> like, like, and then all of your, birthday. um, all of your recommendations from Amazon will be significantly skewed. <laughs> I'm going to send him one. Oh yeah. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah. That's one joke like, you have you- to log into another account to do. You're just like you you tweet and post to Facebook everything you do. So it'd be like Stephen bought. Da, 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 da. <laughs> there was this uh, there was this thing one time uh, on the uh, on the internet where you could actually have it automatically show what your connections were or what your uh, purchases were. Like by uh-huh. your credit card, it could just monitor and tell people what you bought. Oh my god! You forgot what you you were purchasing or what you were putting out there. No good. Yeah. Um, why privacy is a friend. Yeah, so I don't think that service lasted very long. When it comes to clearing blockages, we've come to expect the unexpected. When we're looking for this, the cause, it could be anything, and it's surprising what you do find. The sex toy they found actually caused a major internal flood. <laughs> yeah, it did. Uh-oh, <laughs> bad news. Get it? <laughs> no, I don't, well, maybe. That was a stretch. Yeah, that was a stretch. That was a stretch. I'm laughing. <laughs> But I don't understand what you mean. 
able because I oh, never mind. It's okay, ladies and gentlemen. That was a good story. Good story we told there. Ow! Yes, Winning. I hurt myself. WTF section. I always get you didn't like. Do it. Oh, WTF! Oh, wow. Wow, what were you doing? You've never not done it. Hold on one more time. Do over. <laughs> no, listen, I'm gonna tell you. Mulligan. <laughs> 294 episodes, I think, you know. No, I get when I see that someone drops out of the chat when we're talking about something incredibly like off Perverted. color. Yeah. I tend to worry that it's someone I knew that did not expect the content to be what it was. No, Soul's a Gildy. Throws me off. So Soul's a Gildy. And and it <laughs> actually may gonna... have been slightly offensive to them. <laughs> <laughs> well I, like the last time they were like, So what are you guys talking about this time? And I'm like, you know, not as bad as it was the previous time. <laughs> Kind of makes you kind of makes you wonder where you're just like, hmm, was that overstepping the bounds? Who knows? Dear what? dear current chat. <laughs> oh, you mean that one? Oh, okay. What? No, what are you talking friend. about? You're stupid. Shut up. Oh, okay. Like, you're talking to your other chat. No, I don't know what you're talking about. You know what? This is a WTF section. Actually, tell a story. I got so derailed in my brain, I can't even tell you what just happened. Things and stuff and a cosmic explosion of dust. I could totally be a rapper. A sex craze Angelina Jolie lookalike has received a suspended jail sentence after a cabbie complained she tried to kill him when he refused to satisfy her for a third time. Does it have a picture? I just want to see because when people say look alike, I don't, I don't they, normally believe it. I don't think it. that's, I don't think that's her. I just think it's like a picture that they they put up because it's not. She doesn't really look like Angelina Jolie. Yeah, I think it's just, I think it's just like a a placeholder. Yeah, she looks like an angry faced lady. Yeah, but maybe they're like take a picture of someone in the back of a car. Done. Maybe it's not like she can help it though. Her face, that's probably her resting face. Her bee face. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know so, what is my. I'm gonna try and rest my face, and you tell me what it looks like. Well, 45 seconds. Like you you have an approachable face. Your wife does not. Stephanie doesn't have an approachable face? No, Stephanie has a B face. I think Stephanie looks nice. Well, no. Even Stephanie knows she has a B face. I, I don't know how to rest my face. It's always at a slightly upturned at the corners smile. Yeah, I was like, you know, I have a uh, she looks stoned face in my resting natural state. Stephanie has a B face. You have, I'm the happiest person alive because life is awesome face. Everything is awesome. <laughs> Have you seen? There's like a shirt now with um Unikitty, except she's all super gothed out, and like her mouth turned out and says nothing is awesome. <laughs> I'm really happy. Her name was Unikitty. Unikitty. Oh, look at that, Unikitty. Unikitty. It's so funny that this is a real thing. Unikitty, huh? welcome to Cloud Cuckoo Land. Oh my gosh. I was like, what LSD mind trip am I watching? Like, what the crap is going on right now? But I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, it was all funny. See? See? Your wife scares the crap out of people. (laughs) She is a sweet lady. She is! But if you're just, like, if you walk, like, I've had, when Stephanie and I both used to do the visual fields, when patients would come in, I would go, I'm so glad I got you, that other girl is mean. And I'm like, that's my sister and your doctor's daughter, so. (laughs) But she wasn't mean, she just looks terrifying. Like, Stephanie looks terrifying. She knows she has a bee face. She always smiled at me. Penny from Big Bang Theory doesn't have a last name. What the? Just I'm just gonna read the story now because <laughs> the chat tried to derail you just then. Yeah, it, it I happened. was derailed moments ago, and now you're derailed. Nicholas Stan, 35, told police that what does that say? Steven? Luminita Perijock. That's her name. That the Luminati 31 <laughs> had already Stephen. What? Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> It's like, read, 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 Stephen, and then your name would pop up, and then your name would pop up, and then your name is butthole. Anyway, the Illuminati had already forced him at knife point to have intercourse and perform oral sex during the incident. So, 
it just it's this is just so awesome this is he so claims weird. he met with chiquito while he was hired to deliver some bags of shopping to her apartment in the city of tulsia in eastern romania what does, he a, says she, what does a bag of shopping look like a bag of some bags of shop huh some shopping what bags exactly it's a bag of shopping Romanian. It's like Google translated this for me. Like a bag of holding, but it contains nothing but merchandise. <laughs> a bag of shopping. <laughs> like a new pair of shoes. That makes you really have. Oh, I can't think about food because I. Dude, do you have any idea how long it takes to make a juice? It's like a 45 minute process. And then, like, once you're done, you still have to clean everything up. It's so awful. Like, you just. You just. No. Just no. Just what you do is you buy the juicer. You juice the stuff, you throw that juicer away, and you get and out buy a new, a new one, one. And you juice that. <laughs> Just forget this whole cleaning stuff. If I had, if I seriously, if I had money to throw away, I would do that. Like, it's just because so, you have to, like, take a toothbrush with the thing. And, like, celery juicers I hate celery because all the little things get oh, stuck gosh. and then apply. It's just awful. <sighs> anyway, he says she called him several hours later and asked him to pick up some bottles of wine and deliver them to her apartment. So, apparently, this dude goes over to drop off his bags of shopping <laughs> she thinks he's attractive and she's like mm, i'm gonna get that my own to get some wine mm-hmm. this happens apparently- in real life like this happens to people brown chicken brown cow i don't feel like it does i feel like this was a porn set and it's he he was paying Ro- her. romania oh okay yeah. hey i'm just here to uh fix your cable just come I mean, in I'm- I'm here to plunge your pipes, baby. Is that like a cable man's like thing that he wants? Like he wonders one day if he's ever going to wander up to that apartment and be like, "Hey, I'm here for the cable," and then just bam, it's some hot woman with no clothes on. Is that? I just- think you would have to have gotten hit on by somebody at some point. Like I'm always terrified when like people come over to the house and I'm home alone. I'm like. Are they going to think that I'm going to hit on them or like... So I always wear my pajamas, my glasses, and put my hair up. And I'm like... <laughs> You're like, hey, I don't really know what's going on. Yeah, I try to be as unattractive as possible when people <laughs> come over. <laughs> like, I feel like the more a woman tries to be unattractive, the more attractive she gets. And maybe that's like like when, when Stephanie's just like, I'm not going to watch my hair. I'm just going to throw my hair up. I'm just like, You're beautiful. <laughs> It's like the and the, and other people do that too. Like she won't wash her hair and she'll just put it up and go to church or whatever. And they'll be like, "What did you do to your hair? It looks so nice." And she's like, "Are you serious? Are you serious?" <laughs> I want to just to say thank you. Well, I'm just like thank. I don't know. Like you see, like when people wake up in the morning on TV and they've got the mascara, eyelashes, oh and yeah. Skin. So I'm like, see, okay, well. Sometimes I'll wake up and I'll go look in the mirror and my hair will be perfect and my skin will look perfect. But the second I brush my hair and wash my face, like it makes my face all red where it's like brought the circulation up and then my hair looks all wonky. And I'm just like, why did I bother? Oh, yeah. There's, you know, you know what else is bad on TV? What? When you see the people wake up after they've been sleeping all night and then immediately make out with each other. Ew, I know. I'm just like, your breath has to smell gross. That's a good way to get a punch in the face. Well, yeah, there's that, too, because I really like sleep. (laughs) It's not even the bad breath. It's like, you woke me up. (laughs) I don't, like, I wake up more easily if, if I were married and had someone in bed with me. Uh, yeah. Right. It's easy to wake up, then. It's, yeah. Like, if I'm by myself, I'm like, no, this is so comfortable, but normally, like, I can't move back to where I was, and they're, like, all in my space, and I'm just like, okay, I'm up! It's time! Yeah, it's like, forget this. It's not worth it. Yeah, so yep. then it's, like, then it's then then you it's easier to wake up. This morning when I woke up, it was storming outside, and well, there's no better way to wake up and snuggle than in a storm. It's like, I don't want to wake up. The rain is outside, the thunder, it's all nice and cozy. I want to I go to bed now, snuggling. actually. Can I do that? Can I just fall asleep right here while you read the rest of the story? Like, snuggling at night is fine, but if you wake up in the morning and, like, people want to snuggle in the morning, I'm just like, no. I snuggle like, I in the morning. I normally have to pee. Oh, yeah. I'm a snuggler in the morning, though. Like, you gotta pee, and I'm just like, you're typically warm when you wake up, because that's one of the things that helps you wake up, is your body heats back up. Yeah. So, you know, and then you just have this person on you, and you're just like, No! Get off. That's what she said. <laughs> um, where did I leave off? 
Somewhere picking up bottles of wine. Uh, th- right yes. here. Yes. When he turned up at the door, she grabbed him and dragged him inside and demanded sex. When he refused, she allegedly pulled out a four-inch knife and forced him to undress. Mr. Stan says he only escaped when he managed to barricade himself into a bedroom and dial 911 on his phone. Wow. He complains that his life has been made a misery by his friends messing with him about the fact that he's been unable to satisfy the woman. Apparently, she's really pretty. Uh, he says, it's terrible. I'm now a local celebrity. Everybody's talking about me. They don't understand why I refused her, but they don't know what it's like to have a mad woman yelling at you at knife point. That adds a degree of stress. Yeah, I feel like maybe after the third time, you're going to have a bad time. Uh, yeah, at some point, it's just like, I don't know what to do with you, woman. Yeah. What What do you want? Stop. I feel like sta- especially- st- stop stabbing Wait. me. Stop stabbing me, Jace! <laughs> Don't stab Jace. me. You yeah. know what? They probably just needed some mood music. You know? This will be my home. Just It'll be of, my home. A little bit of mood music. Not a farmer takes this bold weevil and puts him in a lump of ice. Uh, this sounds terrible. I don't even know what this song is about anymore. I don't understand what just happened. Mantan Moreland is telling you about a bow weevil. Oh, is it still... I don't think you can have Bo Weevil sex to Bo Weevil music. <laughs> no, you're not going to have that. That's not real mood music. No. Ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> I'm sorry, do you have something else to say? I was just say the music that I consider mood music scares most people. So there's typically not music going on. I, you know what? I can't recall ever applying mood music. Music is awesome. It's awesome. It's like working out. Like you don't know you miss it until it's there, and you're like, "Man, I can." This is da da da. And then when it's not there, it's like it's still fine. <laughs> it's still fine. It's just you know, it's not with music. <laughs> it's just sans puppy killing music. All right? Yeah, just get some music like this. <laughs> It's about right. <laughs> no. Sometimes you just want to use your your soundboard. That's what you want to do. I feel like I want to get you a physical like so they attached a button so you can press the button on a little thing and you can. Poof. I I really wish I did have like a physical soundboard. I have my made up thing that I've got running over here. I'm building my own. So that uh, that whole Batman's body is exploding thing or whatever yes. that I got earlier, I'm, take, I'm using that. That one's going to get its own button soon. Oh, that makes me so happy. It's exciting. That was a good Batman and Robin episode. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to take this opportunity to thank you so much for listening to Horseshoes and Hand Grenades and making us a part of your lives. Um, you know, you guys coming into the chat and hanging out with us is just is a wonderful thing. And we love doing this show every Tuesday and bringing you a little bit of joy. And if you listen to this show in podcast form, I hope your work day or your commute is awesome because of it. And uh, if you want to tell us some stuff or let us know if you appreciate us or hate our guts or would like us to stop playing racist music from, like, the 40s. <laughs> About the ball weevils. <laughs> just send us some, some mail at uh, hnhshow at gmail.com. We can read your emails on there. We'd love to. Read them. Ask us questions. We'll read them. We'll comment on them. We'll do some fun stuff. Uh, that's that's the good stuff. So send your questions, comments, feedback, and stuff to us at hnhshow at gmail.com. Uh, you can also call us and leave us a voicemail on Skype at HNH Live. We'd love to get your voicemail. That would be fun. Uh, download our show on iTunes or wherever greater podcasts are sold. Uh, follow us on Twitter. I'm Steve HNH, and the show is at HNH Show. Our Facebook page is at facebook.com slash HNH Show. Please tell your friends to like our page. Invite them. If we can get 300 likes by episode 300... I'll uh, wear a bikini. Ashley will wear a bikini, and my heart will explode with love for all of you. That much I can tell you. And Stephen will wear a um, blindfold. <laughs> I'll wear a blindfold. Sure, that's exciting. I'll be blind show. I'll try well, no, to eat. If I wear a bikini, you'd want to wear a blindfold, get Ooh. it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely yeah. wearing a blindfold. I will not be participating in <laughs> Any of that. No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave you guys with these words of wisdom from Dwight L. Moody. I'm serious about the Facebook thing. Facebook.com slash H&H show. Yes. Like it. Like it. 
Uh, Dwight L. Moody once said, We are told to let our light shine, and if it does, we won't need to tell anybody it does. Lighthouses don't fire cannons to call attention to their shining. They just shine. Shining. That's good stuff. I like that. Thank you, Dwight L. Moody, for your contribution to Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. Ladies and gentlemen, we love you guys. We love you all. We will see you next Tuesday right here on Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. Bye.